myself. I'm Charlotte Padilla, and I am part of the, right now, the Norton Retailing Consumer Science. I am now getting out of the Norton Retail Science, and hopefully we will have a fashion major. These are my colleagues, Laura Sheldon and Elizabeth Heitzler. And I want to start out with what we are going to talk about, which is a fashion science lab with a story. Many years ago, when my hair was darker, I had a store in downtown Tucson, and it was called J. Kariba Menswear. The store carried a lot of fashion um, type of products, and a young girl came in from Nogales, Arizona, and she wanted to do a fashion show, a charitable fashion show, and wanted to borrow some of our items. And we gave it to her. She returned the items, and she was very grateful, and she had a big smile on her face because of such a success. This young girl, high school student, from Nogales High School is in our audience today. And that is Dr. Melissa Delgado. Now, Dr. Melissa Delgado is one of the faculty members of Family Studies and Human Development. As we can see, she did not pursue fashion, but she is, yes, she is. But the fashion show was a gateway for her to earn many of her successes and helped her build to which she is today. It gave her talent, drive, and leadership. So this fashion science lab at the University of Arizona will open doors for the underserved K-12 students. It's going to introduce a deeper exposure of college experiences at the university. The fashion science lab will relieve the anxiety and intimidation for a pre-college community attending. Now, how will this happen? Well, part of the fashion science lab that budget is that we will provide transportation for these students to the University of Arizona. So to be successful innovators in the 21st century workforce, students will need to be creative and critical thinkers. In maker spaces, students learn these skills through making and through sharing. Our goal is to foster this true innovation that comes from combining the mind of the scientist or the technologist with the mind of the artist or the designer. Science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics to make up the STEAM framework. The Fashion Science Lab is a STEAM maker space that offers the link between the artist's studio and mathematical relationships, between symmetry, geometry, measurement, simulations, and physical models. In the Fashion Science Lab, students will learn through connecting these concepts with raw materials to create something. Maybe something more sustainable. Maybe something more efficient. Maybe something more usable. So, an example, I tend to yell, so. Uh, an example of this would be, um, last spring I was mentoring a uh, after school club for a lo at, a local high, uh, at a local elementary school for fashion and sewing. The administration asked me, please introduce some more math. You know, we want to increase the math interest in our school. The students are not doing well. Okay. So I devised a series of math problems that had to do with apparel and design to present in my classroom. So I walked in, started to present it, handed the students the paper, and they all looked at me and said, this is a club. We don't want to do math. This is not us. We don't like math. We don't like... One student was visibly upset. I looked at her and I said, look, just cool your jets, we're gonna get this done, you're gonna be fine. The result was they all did very well. Not only did they do very well, but my high anxiety student ended up doing extremely well and she didn't seem to suffer. So the whole purpose and the idea of this is we are taking the math anxiety out of the structured classroom and we are going to put it back into something that is comfortable and creative for the students. And this way they are gonna be more receptive to the learning. So if we return back to Dr. Delgado and think about her experiences with the fashion and how it is a gateway to other opportunities. 
As you've seen on the screen, this is our future. And you will see students that will represent maybe a future astronaut, a software technician, maybe even a fashion designer. That will use a fashion lab as a foundation to like Dr. Melissa Delgado. <laughs>